Are you excited for Chunky Lee? You mean Chun Li fight? What the fine ass legs? That's right, it's Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we're going to go over the Sony state of play, whatever that means, as we examine exactly what Sony is dropping on us. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I am joined by Noob Noob and our super special guest, Mr. Knuckles from Knuckles Media Fiends. Introduce yourself, Mr. Knuckles. What up, what up, how's everyone doing today? I am... This is my first feature on a podcast, on a YouTube channel, on a platform, and I'm very excited to be here, even though, you know, I can't stand new noob sometimes, but, you know, we, we got we got to make sacrifices for the views. We got to make sacrifices for the, for the followers, so, you know, um, what the, what, oh, my God, bro, <laughs> what the fuck? Put some clothes the on, my, oh, oh, my God, yo, put the, that's what you need. that's the reason why I can't stand this dude. Is what you need? Oh my god, like, oh. Uh, I can't. Rub it. Can we mute okay. him? You dirty little slut. Stop. Oh my god. That, that uh, was not the state of play anyone was looking for. Yeah, it was once you I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna fuck your girlfriend when she leaves back to PA. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck your girlfriend. Oh yeah, you my will. god. Daddy my loud. Oh, oh yeah, fuck no. your girlfriend. Well, yeah, well, will. when she gets back from Florida, I'm sure she's gonna have a visit from uh, Knuckles here. So let's talk about Sony and everything that's new. About 30 minutes of PlayStation games and updates what it was up with chun Li, but i guess we could start with the resident 4 uh resident evil 4 remake are you guys the excited biggest announcement yes absolutely i'm fucking stoked for that shit yeah mm. that's what actually got me into the series was the first resident Evil 4 game and you try to play that game now it's pretty difficult to play that game so i feel as though with this it'll be a lot easier and I'm. I just wonder. I mean, you lay look at their their remakes lately. I mean, Resident Evil Two remake was good. Resident Evil Three remake, eh. But this one, I don't know if it's gonna be as long as four because Resident Evil Four well, was long. That game was long, so I hope they didn't really, you know, try to make this game shorter. And could they make this game more scarier? They absolutely can, but can they i mean is that the we'll one with like the cultists and they're like yeah yeah okay yeah. so it's like the, the good one moriki moriki the, the game's daughter one. yep that's that one yeah so it's like the definitive resident evil well i would think everyone would say it's probably the one of the top it's, yeah. three if yeah, not yeah, number it's one de- it's definitely up there it's definitely up there with like with the others but like i said that that game got ported to so many different systems. So, like, it was only going to be a matter of time before they actually, like, remake it. From me, yeah, I'm like, is there a point in it? But I'm like, you know what, man? I, I feel as though it's kind of, like, towards this generation because, tr- I'm, like I said, if, if the younger generation now were to play Resident Evil 4, they'd be like, yeah, we can't play this one. So I feel as though it's for people that missed out on the original one mm-hmm. to give them a chance to be like, hey, play this remake and, you know, You'll see what we play back in the day. I think this is going to be the final one they can really do because Resident Evil Five was for PS3 and 360, so I, I don't know if they're yeah. going to remake that. The this is the last one. You, you that, can't. You can't. That needs the remake. Well, it's going to be released supposedly on uh, what March twenty third. March March twenty third. They got the, yeah. they got the release date and everything. Yeah. Uh, they're also going to do a Spider-Man remastered coming to PC. Why would they remaster this already? Wasn't this... It's already been remastered for PS5, but so, now Sony's big yeah. thing is releasing their games on PC. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then you'll yeah. get modders doing stuff yep. with the game, right? Yeah, yes. oh, psh, without a doubt. Because the, the modder scene really kind of gives life to games uh, <laughs> that were older, right? Uh, Yeah. I mean, Sony wasn't too keen on doing any PC releases a couple years back, but then they finally opened it up since Xbox is it does all PC now, so they're like, Fuck yep. it, why not? They opened up their legs. Interesting. It looks <laughs> like there's gonna be another major Horizon Forbidden West update. There's gonna be a new game plus mode and some other major updates. This is the poor stepchild to Elden Ring, so are you guys excited about that? 
I I love Horizon. I keep it a bug with you though. The whole VR thing though, it ain't for me. Like that's cool and everything, but the whole VR. I mean, no, they're even gonna have, they're, they're even gonna have a VR for Resident Evil um four, and they're and they're right now they're in the progress of doing the Re- uh, Resident Evil eight VR. Yep, Village. But, yep, yeah. Village. Which I mean, did y'all play Village? I did. Yep. I mean, Not the only good. part like. Yeah, the fetus. I can't do a VR with that shit. I probably would be like, "Yeah, I'm not playing this game." But back to Horizon, though. I like Horizon. Um, I'm excited. But like I said, the whole VR thing, I'm not gonna play. Do you have a PS5, Knuckles? I forget. Oh, uh, 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 funny. Should I tell you some funny story about it? Actually, sure. When I was picking up, um, February, when I was picking up, um, Horizon, uh, for PS4. I'm like, I'm like, I was them. Yeah, I was close to buying a PS5, but I, I, I didn't make it in time on Target on the Target website. So I'm like, yeah, but you know, Horizon will still be fun, even though it's not gonna be as pretty as the PS5 version. It'll still be fun to play. And the guy, the guy, guess was like, I, I'll be right back. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm thinking like, he's gonna give me like more, up, give me more stuff for pre-ordering this game. So he gets at a PS5 controller. I'm like, okay, that doesn't really do anything for me. And then I see on the pin pad, uh. PS5. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, man, I just got this. And I'm like, are you shitting me right now? He's like, yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, I buy it. So I bought it for like 600 bucks because it came with a, a warranty and extra controller because it would have been like closer grand because it would came with. He was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it to you, man. Like you already have the PS4 of, of Horizon, so I'm gonna just tell you, you know, the warranty and an extra controller, and there you go. I'm like, hell yeah. So I got lucky. Did I got really he lucky. ask you to marry him after that? <laughs> I mean, no, nah, I ain't gonna swing that way. I'm gonna give you the PS5. And yeah, we'll, 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 I'm just trying to find out what favors you did to get a PS5 <laughs> like that. That's was all. it the one off 611? Was that is that your GameStop? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, bro, no. See, ever since I left that place, I haven't, I haven't gone early. I, where I go to one in Warminster now because that's where I work at. So I have not been to one 611 in a minute. So, but the one guy, the one guy warms it though. He he likes me, so I mean, what's not to like about me? But still, like, he gave you that you hookup. PS5, yeah, he gave you that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got lucky, man. Like, never thought we'd get a PS5. So, the the highlight of 2022. So, <laughs> that, best believe I got her. Best believe I got. I played Horizon. Best believe I got Elden Ring, and I am garbage at that game, but I still have fun with that. Game. Elden Ring is amazing. I 100 percent of that game. If you did not already realize that, dang! How many sweats and tears did you go through with that? Oh, I'm an Elden Ring professional, so I smoked. I'm on like game. I have two different characters at game like four plus four plus five, something like that. Well, that's my first Souls game, to be honest with you. Yeah, it was mine too. So I never played uh, a Souls oh. game. So. Oh wow! What about the Callista Protocol? Is that a uh, is that anything exciting for anybody? I Maybe thought that was Dead Space at first, the the, the Dead Space remake because oh. they did announce that. Uh, it's from the creator of Dead Space, so yeah, yeah. Weirdly enough, the remake of Dead Space doesn't involve the creator of Dead Space, but it, it's like Bungie. Yeah, but uh, creator of Dead Space made this, which is basically a horror survival game and it looks similar to dead space and it looks pretty fucking good i don't i don't know if i'm gonna buy it but it it looks good if you're into that horror survival i get scared easily but like (laughs) resi was resi was my shit so times i wonder why i buy myself recording myself doing this like i just get scared (laughs) so you want to come over and play the Callisto project with me knuckles so you'll be you'll be under noob noob's protection Fuck you, man. No. If you just get scared, I can feed you marshmallows and we can just cuddle and watch a movie. Uh, what the heck is this roller drone? I don't even know if I care. That I have drone. no idea what that is. To be it honest. looked like some battle. It almost looked like a battle royale game too. On know. skates. Yes. <laughs> e- Eternites? Is that a thing? Eternites? This this game is for me and Knuckles. It is a... Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> One thing we can agree on right here. It's like oh, a, it's a JRPG sim. Yeah. Okay. sim action game, and there's yeah. already a I, meme on it. You press R2 to hold hands. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Is that the meme? Yeah. <laughs> press yeah. R2 to hold hands. Yeah, uh-huh, yes. All right. Hey, holding hands in anime is very important, all right? It, it looks it's, ridiculous, and I kind of want it. 
Oh my word! Uh, yeah. There's also uh, Resident Evil Four, the Village, like you said, That's the VR. Con- you're gonna get That's the, up, up close with mommy milkers. Are you excited? I mean, I mean, I'll be up milkers? close with Lady Deborah Crane and her and her daughters. Hell yeah! Like we get popping right there. Like in the game, man. I thought we were about to like have some fun with that crew. <laughs> there's a Final Fantasy 16. I didn't know they went that high. They just keep going. They're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. They made way too much money. Yeah, and Street Fighter 6 trailer. That's a thing. Yeah, it, and I'm it's a like Street a different Fighter. kind of Street Fighter though. It's like a open world. What? Yeah, they have they have a walk feature up to people and like fight them. Yeah, they're adding like some uh, a single player open world uh, adventure. And actually, the the um the roster's been leaked. Oh. The roster's been leaked. Is and, um, Ryu in it? Yes. Yes. Is, R- Ryu is, um, uh, what's I, the guy? Guile. Mm-hmm. Is he in it? So they have, yeah, they have the original eight to original eight from a uh, uh, Street Fighter two to World Warriors. They're all in it, but I didn't see any of the bosses. What about? Blanco? They have a lot of new characters in it. Who's the guy? Sagat. Is Sagat in it? Bob Sagat. Uh, Sagat, no, Sagat's not in it. What? What about uh, Blanca? He'll, 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 probably, he'll probably DLC. Blanca? Blanca's in it. Yeah, Ew. he's part of the original eight. And everyone's got new designs. He's one of the which original was... bosses in Street Fighter One. Why wouldn't he be in that? He was. He was. He he was a DLC character in Street Fighter Five too. BS. What about Balrog? Mike Tyson nope. clone. He no. wasn't. He wasn't in it either. I think here's what here's what they're gonna do. But you know, people fail to realize that it's Capcom. They're gonna milk DLC. They're gonna make like oh. okay, Super Street Fighter Six, then Ultra Street Fighter. 6. That's what they do. Like that's what they do. So like, expect to see a lot of DLC with this game. A lot. What about but, what's I mean, Tunic? Does what's up? Care? What's Tunic? I you have know? no idea. How about season a letter to the future? Does not sound like a thing I want to play. Tunic no. look Tunic looks like like a Fox Zelda game almost. Okay, and what's a, a letter to the future? What the hell is that? That seems super dumb. I, I don't really know. Um it's got a black lead character, so I, it, it got my interest in it. The pre- <laughs> just because they're black? Come on, man. The premium release, though. I would think quality is, is better, is over though, though, I don't have too many black video game games. So let me be. Let me enjoy my moment. Street Fighter right. has, like, a whole ton of uh I black said black characters. lead in video game character. Bow Wow ain't no vi- lead in video GTA game character. GTA 5? Yeah. Uh, no. GTA 3 is perhaps the greatest. That's... One of the greatest protagonists of all He's time. He's pretty white, though. In 3? I'm Who's the leader of GTA 3? Tommy Versetti. 3, 3, 3, 3, yeah, 3 is a white character. Yeah, no, it's Tom, not. Tommy Versetti, I guarantee you. It's about San Andreas? Yeah, San yeah, yeah, Andreas which one is, is that? Black. Oh my, yeah, it's San, San Andreas. Three, San, it was, oh my god, I don't play, over, I don't play Grand Theft Auto games, but you, like, you, which number you got, is it though? It's it wasn't a number, number. San Andreas. It's just sure Grand Theft Auto San, San Andreas. There was, there was, there's 3, four. Vice City, San Andreas, then they had 4. What's four? Uh, Russian dude. Oh, that's that Russian guy. Then what the hell was San Andreas? Was that like a DLC or something? No, it's just oh a my game. I Switched played this. it. I played it. I just don't know what it is. Uh, it's its own it's game. Game. What's five? Its own fucking game. Then why would they go out of? Why wouldn't they go? They go two, three, four, five, and then San Andreas doesn't even get a number. Nope. Why would they do Vice, that? Vice City didn't get a number either. Vice City uh, was after three. Vice City was before San Andreas. Was it? I'm not yeah. that old, so I don't know. I don't know. You guys are like some sort of video game historians. I don't know. But Zeke, you've been in the game longer, though, so you should know this shit. Dude, I, I, I played all, all of them. I just don't know anything about them. I'm pretty good at GTA Online, though. I'll come is rock it, your boat. How is that game online? Is it like a Battle Royale game online? Like, how is that? I, I don't play Grand Theft Auto, so I wouldn't. No, you just go around, like, nuking people with uh, flying cars. Although they, they did nerf those. But what about Stray? I'm, I think I Stray looks cool. Wait. I can't fucking wait for that game. So, like, what's the thing on Stray? Like, I'm a little bit confused. So you play as a cat? You're just a, a stray little puss puss, and you're trying to find your milk, I think. Apparently, you can do all sorts of cat activities, like knocking things over, licking your own butt, destroying furniture. 
No, I can't fucking it's wait. It's free, apparently. Only if you have the uh, premium membership. Oh, super that, premium one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cyberpunk cat game. I'm gonna I get saw it. A, a gameplay <sighs> demo, and it looked really cool. I'm going to buy it. As far as I could tell. Hey, man, so, in. fellas, if you have a girlfriend that likes cats, you know, get that game done. I'm in. I I imagine I I think that was basically all the announcements. Was there anything? Yeah, else? It, it it was pretty sure. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more. Like ah. there was no God of War. There was no. Yeah, like, see, yeah, see. When I saw the R in that, I thought it was gonna say Ragnarok for a second, but it turned out to be Resident Evil Four. Oh. That's yeah, kind of not like, that exciting. They're gonna have an entire showcase just for God of War, probably. Do you think? Oh, absolutely. And a big. They, they didn't announce. Did Corey Balrog still direct that? I have no idea. He's the director of the first one. Well, speaking of God of War, I, I believe on June seventh it's going to be free on PlayStation Plus. Yep. He's it's, a black guy. It's this month's uh, yeah. Kratos, the actor. Yeah, he's well, amazing. Well, yeah, two we had two different actors though. One was TC, and the one guy I forgot his name, but was it Chris Judge? Yeah, no, I think that's it actually. Chris Judge. I don't know. Yeah. The guy who does the one in God of War is. The PS4 the, version. Yeah, that one's yeah, the, the best. Yeah, the PS4, yeah. Yep. Mm. Him with the little kid. Yeah. Went at the Video Game Awards. It was like, read it, boy. He said, what? No, they're, at, they're at the Video Game Awards, and uh, they presented an award, and Chris Judge was there. And he got a kid, he was like, read it, boy. <laughs> he, 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 called, he called a little white boy, boy. Man. Right. He says changed. it in the game like a billion times. He's all yeah, the time. I know, He's I know, like, I know. Yeah, like, do this, that. do that. I, I just wanted to say that. Bossing around. <laughs> was an old black guy called a young white boy, boy. Man. I mean, if you Time, have burly Times voice, have changed. You can call me whatever you want. That's the point, is that times have changed, and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful no. thing, Knuckles. It is a beautiful thing. So, on a scale of one to ten, how excited are, are you for the the this whole thing, the announcement? Like, what what did, what was your vibe? Seven. Resident Evil Four was just was for me. It took the show. So, is it a ten or is it a seven or a five? I Man, I give it a five to be honest with you. Because if, if only if only one Ooh. game got my attention from the thing, and then it's like that's weak. Make me make me into a okay. I'll give it a seven. Being right. too harsh. Yeah, Disappointing, it's, it's but not seven. exciting. That's fair. I would like, agree with that. I mean, then, and, and at the same time, though, remember, there's no E3 this year, too. So it's like you're kind of expecting more. But you had the Summer Game Fest. That's coming up. Yes. E3 has been killed, unfortunately. Killed by its own hubris. But what happened? Why did he cancel? I, 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 I honestly don't it's know. It's very expensive to do those shows, and I think a lot of the companies just don't see the value in it, especially and they just do their own. Yeah, when they can, they found it's almost, I was talking about uh, same things happening to uh, San Diego Comic Con is shrinking because things like Star Wars celebrations are being co opted, where Disney owns Star, Star Wars celebrations, right? And then you've got, they can like, push their own products in that one thing what they're they're going to do it already and they make money off a of celebration so why why do a an event that costs you money when you can do one that makes you money so that's the way i look at it Man, that's yeah, that's a good point right there gotta make that money i mean that, it, that, it comes down to that yeah i mean it, it would be great to experience e3 but now it's like you know they're doing it they're just showing a shot conventions now so yeah and um, then it's funny you said it because New York Comic Con, uh, their Saturday tickets just sold out just now. Normally, their tickets sell out by like right away, but now their tickets are still available, which is a little bit surprising to me. I actually one time, uh, what was I in the Baltimore Comic Con? I presented as a, you know, comic book writer, failing artist. artist, failing comic book yeah. writer. Damn. So anyway, uh. Knuckles, why don't you give the people out there a way to get a hold of you so they can check out your content? Yes, well, I'll hopefully I'll, I'll send I'll send the guys my uh, my um, God dang my uh, YouTube, Facebook, and all that stuff. But yeah, you guys can follow me on YouTube at uh, Knuckles Space Media Space Fiends. You'll see an A made a picture of me punching something. You can follow me on YouTube. Ooh, punching. At, yeah, because my last name is Knuckles. Believe it or not, people, my last name is Knuckles, so you might be wondering why they call me that. But that's my last name. 
and I know it might shock y'all. So yeah, um, you can follow me on Twitch at Knuckles Media Fiends, where I stream, you know, everywhere where it's where it's like you know video games or podcasting. Um, follow me at Knuckles Family and Friends on my Spotify account. That's where I post all my podcasts and video episodes. And you want to follow me on Instagram? Follow me on Instagram, Knuckles the Third. That's so it's like Knuckles T H E then I I I. That's my personal Instagram, but my game Instagram is Knuckles Media. So if you want to see the shit that I post every day, then you know go on that. So yes, yeah, no, I want to thank you guys for having me on here, guys. I'm uh, this is my first ever being a feature guest on my show, and honestly. I, should I call people out? Like I don't know if I should call people out because I know it's my first time being a guest. I don't want to star anything. Should I say it? I don't know. I don't know who you're calling out. Depends. I don't know. All you say is you know when people sh- when people give you show you love, you gotta show love. You gotta show them love back. That's all I'm gonna say. Are you well, calling out people for us or you? I we're happy to have you as a guest, and it was a a, a lot of fun talking to you. I know you're going to try to call me out at some point. I promise we'll have some more internet wars and some, some more YouTube drama to add to the fun out there. So uh, be sure if you'd like, check out uh, the Our reviews will kill you full length audio potty podcast. It so is I say on, potty. I said potty cast. Cause we're, it's an explicit podcast. It's a potty cast, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's on Stitcher, iTunes, Spotify, all those great places. <laughs> and uh, like and subscribe to this channel. You can even rumble us because Noob Noob might do this to Knuckles if you don't like and subscribe to both channels. Yes, I will go to the local SPCA, adopt a bushel of cats, <laughs> train them to break into Knuckles' home and lick his feet and record it. And then I will post that on TikTok because <laughs> have you ever been licked by a cat's feet? That shit's sandpaper. It's not going to be pleasant. Knuckles doesn't want it, but he needs it. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen if you don't subscribe. Wow. Please do or else I might have to do some animal cruelty. Please oh, my, oh my word. Don't, don't bring the pusses into this. <laughs> don't hurt the puss. Yes. <laughs> so from all of us here at our reviews <laughs> will kill you and from knuckles media fiends we love all y'all but we are all on to the next one uh.